Hey everybody, it's Allison, the Holistic Home Center. I am here today with a grocery haul for you guys. So I just got back from town. I made a quick Dollar Tree stop and I picked up some groceries. Nani and Poppy are coming for the weekend. If you guys follow my mom, Nani, over on Nani's Life, she is a Dollar Tree hauler. They're coming up for the weekend. Um, we're celebrating Easter a little bit early. I'm gonna make Easter dinner tomorrow. I'm gonna flip my camera around and show you what I got with this Walmart haul. It wasn't a huge haul. I spent less than $200, thankfully, <laughs> but um, now that I lay it all out, I feel like inflation is definitely here. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna start very randomly over here. This is the stuff that I need to take down to my basement. You guys, if you've been here for a while, you know I have a big pantry in my basement. I like to keep stocked on a lot of things. So I got two packages. This one's still over there in the bag. I just got this one out to show you guys. I got two packages of the Gala Apples. They are organic. You guys know that I love organic as much as possible, but I say you gotta do that 80-20 kind of thing. Try to eat organic and healthy 80% of the time at least, and then we have time for candy. <laughs> I picked up this bag of, mixed bag of um, Hershey's chocolate, York peppermint patties, Reese's peanut butter cups, almond joys, and Kit Kats. I can tell you right now, Brian will claim those, Lennon will claim those, Harper will claim those, and I'll get stuck with the almond joy because nobody else likes them. And these are just kind of a free for all for everybody. Although London and I, we don't really eat peanut butter as much as maybe Brian and Harper do because peanut butter kind of makes us a little bit mucusy and weird in the head. It's kind of strange. Um, my mom, Nani, she developed a peanut allergy when she was in like her 30s or something and I think that I'm kind of headed that same way. Um, peanut butter and I, I love it, but we just don't get along real well anymore. So then we have some iced oatmeal cookies. This is the Great Value brand. It's an 18 ounce package. I really love these dipped in coffee or in milk even. Brian loves to take these in his rig. He's a tractor trailer driver and he likes these because they hold up so well and he usually has coffee with them. So if they get hard in the truck, well, he can dunk them in his coffee if he gets the chance. So two packages of iced oatmeal cookies. And then, moving right along here, I got some, this is ham. This is um, the Prima Della brand off the bone ham. And I got a pound of that, a little over a pound for $10. And I also picked up some turkey breast. So this is oven roasted turkey breast. And again, I got a little over a pound of that. I figured sandwiches would be good for the weekend since Nani and Poppy are coming. Also picked up a pack of this American cheese. It's a 32 slice pack of Kraft Singles American cheese. But this is for in my freezer. It's gonna go downstairs. I have also picked up some of this fresh yellow American cheese. I believe that this is Land Lakes brand. Um, American cheese. I'm hoping so anyway. It was a substitution, so it might not be Land Lakes. But I figured I would try some of the fresh. This is like super processed, kind of chemically. I like a real cheese when I can, but this will do in a, you know, in a bind. It's good to keep in your freezer. I will tell you though, if you freeze cheese like this, it will often end up with white spots. Let me see if I can show you. So I have some in my fridge here and you can see like there's that white spot right there. There's Yeah, there's some more in the back. This is from coming out of the freezer. That does not mean that it's bad. It's not mold by any means. I feel like it's the condensation from when it goes in and out of the freezer that gets trapped under the plastic. Um, and then it just kind of beads up and dries the cheese out in that certain spot. So if you pull your cheese out of the fridge and you, or the freezer and you see those white spots, do not be alarmed. That's just my theory anyway, use caution. <laughs> I also picked up some packs of bologna. This is Oscar Mayer, hearty, thick cut. And it is a one pound package. I picked up two of those. Again, for Brian's lunch, he likes to take a sandwich with him to work now. And um, yeah, so these are gonna go into the freezer 
Actually, one will go into the fridge, I think. And then this stuff will go to the freezer. Um, and yeah, so that's all for lunches, sandwiches. Next up, I got my Easter ham. We did get a, a whole bunch of pork. We got, we bought half a pig, but the ham that we bought is a whole ham, not a half ham. And I was not prepared to cook or defrost a whole ham at this stage in the game. So I picked up this Sugardell Prestige Hickory Smoked Shank Ham. It is smoked ham, it's fully cooked. And it says no center slices removed, fully cooked, ready to eat. Expiration date of June 16th, and I paid $19 for that. So I got some organic bananas. And I picked up some of these mini cucumbers. I love these so much. I love them when they're organic, but they were out of the organic this time. They are non-GMO though, which is great. What I'll do with these is I will dry them really well and then I will wrap them in packs of four in aluminum foil and then that'll um, make my cucumbers last longer before they get all slimy and moldy and gross. Next I have a pack of seedless, uh, red seedless grapes, table grapes. London has been craving this apple cinnamon Cheerios. So I picked up two boxes of that. They are one pound, three ounce boxes, two boxes of apple cinnamon Cheerios, which I will admit they are really, really good. If you've never had them, they are delicious. All right, they are gluten-free and no artificial flavors, no colors from artificial sources. And they are a whole grain food, which is why the school serves it. So that's all good stuff. Next, I got two dozen organic eggs. These are large eggs, cage-free brown eggs. I don't really buy into all this garbage here, this whole cage-free crap. Um, as chicken owners and kind of knowledgeable in the happenings of, you know, egg production, I know that, like, these chickens are considered cage-free, but really they're just housed in these great big barns and they don't really go outside. And even if they were allowed to go outside, most of them don't because they just hang out inside where it's nice and warm and the cage-free thing doesn't really get me going. But that USDA organic seal does. And people will laugh and they'll say like, oh, that doesn't mean anything. Yes, it absolutely does mean everything. It absolutely means everything to have your meat, your fruits, your vegetables, your grains all be organic. It means a ton. It means it was not grown in sewage sludge. It was not grown with herbicides, pesticides, fungicides. It just wasn't. It wasn't created with genetically modified um, seed. So, or they weren't fed genetically modified seed. That's all very, very important to me. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I suggest you do a lot of research. All right, moving forward, something that's not great for us, but again, this is the 20% deal. These are Lay's barbecue chips. They are 12 and a half ounce bags. This is the party size. This is a request from Miss Harper. She's been craving some Lay's barbecue chips. So I actually got two bags of those. The other one's over there by the basement door. I picked up some bagels again for the weekend. Figured this might be a good breakfast. I got plain and blueberry. Harper absolutely loves the blueberry. She eats it with just butter toasted in the morning. Um, so you're gonna eat that for a snack sometimes. These are, let's see, one pound, four ounce packages. And these are the plain. I love to make an egg and cheese sandwich, like an egg and cheese bagel out of the plain. Toast it up, oh, it's so good. So I got those for this weekend, good for breakfast. Let's go along with our eggs and our cereal. <laughs> I picked up three loaves of Martin's sandwich potato bread. This is our absolute favorite bread. If you've never tried this Martin's brand potato bread, you are missing out. It's made with unbleached flour and has a buttery taste. Um, it is super soft. It never dries out and gets crumbly or anything like that. It holds up really well in a sandwich. It makes incredible French toast, makes incredible BLTs. Um, I just absolutely love this bread. We cannot 
buy enough of it, really. We buy three loaves at a time, and um, it all gets eaten. <laughs> Those are Martin's potato bread. Brian asked for Chips Ahoy Chewy Cookies. So I picked up two packages of those. They are one pound, three and a half ounce packages, the family size. So I'm gonna put, one of these will go with Brian in his rig and then one of these will go in my snack drawer. This is my snack drawer. You guys recognize all that Dollar Tree goodness? <laughs> and see, I told y'all, I don't, Toastums are not for breakfast. Toastums are a snack. Anyway, all right, moving on to like the bathroom portion of this haul. I have a family pack of Q-tips, cotton swabs. There are a thousand cotton swabs total. It's two packs of 500. This should last me like the next year, year and a half maybe. I picked up a box of Dove Sensitive Skin Soap. There are eight bars in here. This is, aside from like my own soap and Dr. Bronner's soap, this is the soap of choice here in our house, the Sensitive Skin version. Um, this soap rates really well on the Environmental Working Group website, the EWG. If you haven't checked out your body products, like your deodorant, soap, face stuff, makeup, on the EWG website, you really need to. Environmental Working Group. You can, I think you, they might have an option where you can like scan the SKU and look up your product that way, but you can always just search for it too. And I bring that up because my mom, Nani, she recommended these two products here. This is the Aveeno Calm and Restore Nourishing Oat Cleanser for sensitive skin. It's fragrance free. It says it gently cleans, hydrates to preserve skin's moisture barrier. 7.8 fluid ounce. So I love this portion right here. It says it's fragrance free, paraben free, phthalate free, dye free, alcohol free. Tested on sensitive skin, our oats are non-GMO, and it's non-comedogenic, if that's how you pronounce that, whatever that means. I've never seen that phrase before. But I looked this stuff up on the Environmental group, Working Group website, and this had really good ratings as well. I believe all three of these items here rated at a 2 out of... I think a 10 in terms of safety. So 10 being the worst product you could put on your body and one being, or zero even, being the safest product you could put on your body. This rates as a two, so these all do. So she also recommended, and this is something that I was, I wash my face with this. Um, so I'm gonna switch to this and see how it does, but she also recommended this moisturizer. This is the Oveno Calm and Restore Skin Therapy Balm Colloidal Oatmeal Skin Protectant for Sensitive Skin, Steroid Free, Fragrance Free, Soothes and Deeply uh, Moisturizes to help strengthen, Soothes and Deeply Moisturizes to help strengthen skin's natural moisture barrier. 1.7 ounce tube, that's what it looks like in there. And then, and then over here on this side, it says triple oat formula contains oat extract, colloidal oatmeal, and oat oil to soothe and hydrate skin for 24 hours. And again, it is fragrance-free, paraben-free, phthalate-free, dye-free, alcohol-free, non-comedogenic, hypoallergenic, and it's made from 40% post-consumer recycled plastic. Love all that. So we're gonna try those as per recommendation of my mom, Nani. And she also recommended this product. I did not look this up on, on the EWG. I really didn't care what it had to say. I was just kind of going off of her advice. Um, my mom and I, we are notorious for having like, cause we're always barefoot. So we have notoriously like cracked heels and calluses on our feet. Now I will say like, I also know that having really, really cracked heels is a sign of an underactive thyroid. So I am going to kind of do some digging into that. I know that's an issue that my mom has had for a while too, which I think is very interesting. It's just something that I've learned very, very recently. So I'm gonna do some research in that. But until then, 
She said that she has seen such an amazing improvement in her, the condition of her feet using this carousel intensive foot repair, clinically proven, visible results in one day. It loosens hard, dry skin to exfoliate and deeply moisturize. Um, softens severely cracked heels and dry skin. It is a one ounce little tube. She said you only need a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. And yeah, it is paraben free, highly concentrated, exfoliates and moisturizes. Um, I'd see it has this PEG 40 and eight in that. That's really, those are not great ingredients. I don't remember off the top of my head what PEG is notorious for, but I wanna say it has something to do with uh, hormones, if I remember correctly. I'll have to do some digging, but we're gonna give that a whirl. Um, Hopefully it won't take much use um, to have an improvement in my feet and then I won't have to use it all the time. That is the goal. Um, I'm, you know, I've, I've used those uh, like pumice stones and all sorts of stuff on my feet, but just being out here in the country, always in my bare feet all the time, um, it does beat them up quite a bit. So next I picked up this 1.76 ounce package of Vicks VapoRub cough suppressant topical analgesic. This is the ointment. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen that video on social media or not, but there is a doctor who says that if you have clogged sinuses, that you should take two or three big sniffs, like big deep sniffs of Vicks VapoRub, and then using your thumbs, Take them and place them under your eye on your cheekbone and press for 20 seconds with your head lifted up toward the ceiling. And supposedly after 20 seconds, when you look down, your sinuses will start to drain. So Brian has had some kind of weird funky sinus issues for literally like the last four months. That's no joke. He had been, you guys probably saw in my Dollar Tree videos a while ago, those nose sprays that they offer, which Brian really loved, um, that it's been going on that long. So it's been months and months of him having sinus issues. He's ready to call like a specialist, like an ear, nose and throat specialist, because he just feels like this is ridiculous. It shouldn't be taking this long to get over whatever kind of sinus issues he's having. So we're gonna try this Vicks VapoRub. <laughs> and see if the doctor on that viral video is right or not. I'll let you know. My very last item is these Equate Butterfly Closures. It's a 12 count. It says all one size. They are 1.75 inch by 0.375 inch. And there are 12 of them in there. They are waterproof. Brian, um, he cut his uh, knuckle on his pointer finger to the bone, uh, this knuckle here and when he bends it it's wanting to pop open still he should have had stitches but he didn't he cut it with a grinder he was working on a truck and the grinder got away from him and it chewed through his gloves and went right down to the bone of his finger and he was very lucky that it didn't uh, sever any ligaments or tendons but he asked me to pick up some butterfly closures just to help hold that shut so oh my there we have it, the life of a homesteading, truck driving wife. <laughs> He's forever hurting himself. Um, I don't think I told you guys the story, but he got hurt uh, about three weeks ago at work pretty badly too. He smashed his pinky um, to the point that it took an ER trip and I think seven or eight stitches. He smashed it under a 500 pound piece of metal uh, kind of in between two pieces of metal and the tip of his thingy pinky just kind of exploded Luckily, he didn't lose his fingernail or anything and he's healing up really well, but oh my if we could go a while without any kind of issues I would love that <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this Walmart grocery haul. We will see y'all later. Bye